Hi everyone, welcome to another Pixlr tutorial to feed your desires and learning how to become cheap and efficient image editors uh, without having to purchase such expensive software. I do want to mention that a lot of these features can be utilized in free programs like the GIMP if you've heard of it before. Um, so make sure you do check out a lot of the free software out there. But Pixlr is just really great because it's an online tool and you can just use it in any browser. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to make this image back here. Now you're probably like, well what is this? It looks like some random assortment of characters. But really it's a combination of characters from Harry Potter and the Lord of the Rings. And we're going to try our best today to sort of combine a lot of the things that you've been learning and really show you the impact and the ways you can combine those different strategies you've learned so far to become a good image editor. But before we get to this, I wanted to actually talk about um, some things that people go through. And this happens all the time. I am uh, very, very surprised at how often this does happen. Now, when people try to crop images, I notice that when they crop images, they tend to not do it effectively. And you'll notice in this image of Harry Potter, for instance, that there's a lot of uh, weird erases here. You see how there's so, mu so much of it left behind? and it wasn't cleanly done and it looks very rough and uneven this happens all the time and so what can you do to avoid these types of problems um, and for instance when you have to put this on a backdrop let's say uh, something like that let's see here Hmm. Let's try to zoom this out. Here we go. So you can notice in this backdrop here, you'll notice that it stands out from the background, all these different weird edges that you created that weren't erased properly. So I'm going to show you how to do this properly in our short tutorial. Um, so let's get started. Here's the original image I started with. And I'm going to open image from Earl. And it's an image of Harry Potter. Uh, what I want to do here is use a special tool that I used before in a past tutorial. But I'm going to make a copy first. Duplicate layer. Call this the original. And let's call this copy one. And we're going to make... Whoa. Copy two. Alright, so what I want to do first is I am going to use a lasso tool here. And I am going to isolate Ron somehow from this image. There we go. Uh, and notice that I did put a feather of 20. Uh, which again is a way to sort of buffer a lot of the weird edges you will incur when you are actually doing this process. So I'm going to right click on this and I will add layer to mask. And I'm going to leave it at that. Next one I am going to work on Harry Potter and Hermione. I think that's how you say their names. Uh, it's a little bit difficult zooming out this far. Usually you want to zoom in since I'm sort of restricted on the camera size or the recording size on the screen. I'm kind of stuck at this. So I'm just going to try my best to just capture this image. There you go. And I'm going to right click on this, add layer to mask. So I'm going to hide the original. Now you can sort of see I've isolated the characters to a certain degree and what I want to do now is just clean it up a bit. All right.
right? Just make it a little bit clean and um, work it from there. Now, one thing I didn't kind of talk about is when you create a layer mask, you can't edit this image, okay? So for instance, let's just focus on Ron for a second here. So let's say I took the eraser tool and uh, wanted to erase here. You could pretty easily. And one thing you want to make sure you do is actually apply the layer mask itself. And there was a reason why for this. I actually forgot why. But um, don't worry about that for now. Just notice that when you right click, when you apply the layer mask, it will essentially apply the the tool that you apply. Uh, when you made that, uh, the outline, it'll actually make it permanent. That's where I'm trying to get at. Uh, I wanted to make that outline that I created permanent on the actual character. Alright, so let's work on Ron again real quickly. I'm going to take the eraser tool. I'm going to zoom in a bit and see if I can do this a little bit better and quickly so I don't have much time. Go up to the brush here, change it to one of these that are a little bit more fuzzy. Start at 15, let's see, maybe 25 or so. And just sort of clean it up. Again, I, I tend to I actually use a Wacom tablet normally when I'm doing this instead of a mouse, but I mean for convenience sake and, and many of you probably don't have a Wacom tablet which has a stylus, a pen that you can use for drawing and things like that. Um, so I'm just trying to show that it is possible. Alright, so here we already have an obstacle. I want to try and get rid of these logos here. And we learned a tool earlier on, it's called the stamp tool we can take advantage of that right now so I clicked on this tool I left I click control click on an area that I want to use and then sort of just highlight over it see that it's pretty much gone and use obviously use similar areas that are similar colored uh, for instance let's say in this area here use this the pants or whatever he's wearing and uh, you might have to do it a few times click into that sh a section and click again uh, do your best so I kinda lost a little section here of Ron using the brush tool but that's okay the eraser tool sorry um, so I'm gonna stop there with with Ron and let's hide him and jump to are better characters I guess, I don't know. Um, again use the eraser tool, clean this up. to worry. So we have a situation here. We have a huge Harry Potter logo here and you're like, well how do I sort of get rid of this out of my image? It's going to take a little bit of work. Again, we're going to use the stamp tool. Maybe not the best tool and just don't know what other tools to use, but I'm going to just use the pant color here and just sort of work my way through it. Click on an area that you want to simulate and keep going at it. Same thing here. I'm gonna have to pause the video for a sec because I think I'm reaching my size limit here.